My name is Anna and uh, I am a partner at Eagle Design in Montreal. We are uh, an interior design firm and uh, this is a home that we designed uh, for art lovers. This is the living room. It's a very cozy living room and it's very intimate and we didn't want this home to have that sort of contemporary stark feel but we still wanted to convey some sort of modernity. So we chose to use these lovely sofas that are just very homely and very cozy and incorporate some classic elements like these uh, little coffee tables. And the sort of fireplace that is crisp. And then of course we introduced pattern by using this gorgeous Marcel Wenders tile, uh, which is the Carmen, with these uh, sort of Moorish motifs. It fit in uh, beautifully. And then of course this awesome architectural detail that you could never recreate, even if you tried, was so spectacular and we knew that we had to highlight it. And what we did is we painted everything white. And so it just became very sculptural and you have a lot of shades and you have a lot of shadows and that in itself creates pattern. We designed the house with focal points in mind. As you walk in, you have this beautiful view, this vignette of this fireplace with the chandelier, and you've got this gorgeous wall of pattern, again, creating just enough detail to tie into the architecture of the house, which was essential so that the house didn't feel disjointed and disconnected from the finishes that we brought in. That chandelier was purchased by the clients in New York, and uh, they didn't know what to do with it, but we felt that it worked really well in the kitchen. The house is full of little surprises. Like when you peek into the kitchen, you sort of get this glimpse of these little Fornicetti tiles, these little faces staring back at you that you wouldn't even immediately notice. The kitchen was a sort of long galley kitchen and those cabinets were existing. The cabinets looked fine, so we just had them repainted. We replaced the handles and we um, put this bowl on down. We love bowl on and the crispness that it conveys to the kitchen. The dining room, it was, just, it was just sort of reactionary and we used that spectacular uh, Moy Spider uh, chandelier, which you probably would never really get a chance to use in a residential environment, which is why it was so cool here. It's edgy and yet it's cozy and yet it's cool and yet it's comfortable. So um, it's all these things and because they are art lovers, what was fantastic is that we sort of helped them discover that interior design was art and that Furniture, uh, light fixtures, accessories, these things are also part of what is considered art today. In the dining room, we brought in the pattern. This time around, we decided to use a carpet and have pattern on the ground because we needed to balance that light fixture out. And if there wouldn't have been any pattern in the dining room, that light fixture would have been so overwhelming. There would have been no balance. So that is, a, that is why we use that rug and that chandelier. The stairs were such a challenge because they were falling apart. And so we kept thinking to ourselves, what is it that we're going to do with these stairs? You know, and if we bring in a rug, it might just throw things off, so what do we do? And so we thought to ourselves, what are the elements that we already have that we're using? And of course the tile immediately came to mind and we, we thought, let's, let's try it. And it just worked out beautifully. And uh, what's fantastic with the stairs is that, again, everything is so stark and so crisp as you're going up and you never expect that you're going to walk into this sort of amazing pop of color, which is this lovely sort of magenta colored console with this Jérôme Fortin uh, art piece that is just fantastic. And again, even this art piece is so uh, laced with pattern. The area rug is laced with pattern. And again, these very bright colors that you don't expect, they're a surprise. There is a little surprise in the bathroom. Actually, um, both bathrooms are a little special. Uh, the water closet down here is a kind of this little unexpected room and then you walk in and there's this gorgeous mirror that's just very um, unexpected. Uh, and then same goes for the master bathroom upstairs. We use these beautiful Tom Dixon light fixtures and then we use this gorgeous tile. It's called Body Works and uh, it was designed by Nigel Coates. He's an architect and you can see that he's an architect uh, when you look at the shapes. So it's these bodies, these, uh, these sculpted bodies that are wireframe almost and um, they're platinum and they add just that little bit of prestige to this very unassuming humble house and again it brings that component of art into play if i had to choose a word to describe this house it would be serene um, the house is so welcoming but it's it's a silent house and it lets you think and it lets you contemplate and it allows the art to be seen as the homeowners see it as very important and integral to their lives uh, and lifestyle.